In this video, you'll learn how to create a daily summary or daily update email for just about anything. Some of examples of that might be things like getting a summary of all the tweets that match a certain keyword or, a cert or your brand's name each day, uh, maybe getting an email of all the tasks that were checked off in your project management system by anyone on your team, just so you can see what everyone's up to or listing all the posts from your favorite blogs or YouTube channels, uh, just in one neat daily summary email for you to scan over. I was prompted to create this video because one of our customers at Content Snare asked if he could get a daily summary of all the documents his clients sent to him uh, each day. Now, just for context, Content Snare is a product used by uh, professionals like accountants and lawyers and marketing agencies to collect information and documents from their clients. Now, this customer wanted to receive a daily email just saying, here are all the documents that your clients have sent in uh, today through Content Snare. Now, right now, we don't have that feature built into Content Snare. We will in the future. But in the meantime, it's possible to build your own daily update with a tool like Zapier. And that's what we're going to dig into today. And what you're going to learn today is not limited to content scenario at all. You can use this skill to create a daily summary for pretty much anything, as long as it has a Zapier integration. And it's really easy to do. So let's dig in. Over here, I've got a new workflow ready. So I'm assuming you've already got a zap of your account. You've clicked the button to say, make a new zap. This is where you would end up. We're gonna trigger based on Content Snare. This is the app we wanna trigger this, this workflow on. And we're going to trigger when a field is completed. And just so you can see what this looks like. Over in Content Snare, this is like a request or a document request you might send to a client. Let's say they've, uh, come to this section, this proof of ID, they've uploaded this uh, image, which is their passport image, and they hit submit for review. So that would have triggered this event over at Zapier. So let's go ahead and test it. So it looks like, yep, the passport image has come through. We've got a link to the file and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so now we can go ahead with the workflow. For the first action, you wanna search digest by Zapier. And this is what makes the magic happen in this workflow. It's a way to create a list of something that happens maybe multiple times a day. So you can put it in an email. So the event we're choosing is to append an entry and schedule digest. An entry is basically just one item in the list. And just think of a digest as the list itself. We have to have a name for the digest. So I'm gonna call it uh, Content Snare Digest. This just has to be unique for each digest you have in your Zapier account. So if you've never created one before, you can pretty much enter whatever you like. Uh, and then the entry is basically just one item in this list. So maybe we wanna say, um, put a dash there and say uh, the client name. Maybe we'll go with uh, the company name here and then we'll go dash, followed by the field they've submitted. So in this case, it was the passport image, so it's the name that we want there. So this is going to create an item that starts with a dash, has the company name, followed by a dash, followed by uh, the name of what they submitted. You could also drop in the link to the document here. I mean, any, any of this information you can include in this list, but that is just one item in the list. And then we choose how often we want to receive the email. So I'm going to say daily at 5 p.m. Now something's broken with Zapier at the moment. Normally this would give you a drop down of all the different times. Uh, I'm just going to type in 5 p.m. like that. Um, hopefully by the time you see this, uh, Zapier has resolved whatever this problem is. Uh, and we do not want to receive this on weekends because we're not going to be working. All right, so we can go ahead and test. And here it's created a digest, but right now it's only got one item in it, right? So if I test that again, you'll see it'll actually just create a second one. Obviously I'm using the exact same testing data twice in a row, so it's the same item, but essentially this is how it would build up, right? So if you had a different uh, document that was submitted up in this trigger, it would come through 
and uh, add the next item to that uh, list there. So that's it for the digest. I'll go back to setup. We need to add a third action here and that is to email ourselves. So I'm gonna choose the email by Zapier app and click here and choose send outbound email. This is pretty simple, just like setting up a normal email. I'm going to send it to myself with the subject of uh, documents received today. And in the body of the email, we can write a small prefix like add a couple of line breaks in, uh, open up the digest here, and we're going to map in the current digest. So this is going to email uh, this email address with this subject and this body. And obviously that digest would expand to have all the different items in it. So let's go ahead and test that uh, in its current state. So this is what the email that's come in looks like. It's come from a Zapier address. Uh, there's the little uh, prefix and that is the digest that we created. Now, this is obviously pretty basic formatting here, but you could type whatever you like into that email and it'll come through uh, to your message. But if you imagine a client going through and uh, submitting lots of different documents in Content Snare, then uh, this would say, you know, the client name dash whatever they submitted. And it'd just be a big list of that. So the same deal if you were monitoring tweets, you could have uh, the, the person who tweeted followed by uh, a link to the tweet even and uh, the text that was in the tweet. You could put all of that in a digest and just have them all show up in this email. And it actually doesn't have to be an email. For example, maybe you want to release the digest into your Microsoft Teams or Slack channel. So you could just add an action here that instead of sending an email, or maybe both, you wanna send the email and uh, send a Slack message. I'm not gonna go through the whole process, but it's pretty much the same. You would just map in the digest uh, and say what channel you wanted to post it in. And at 5 p.m. every day, it would also get posted in Slack or Microsoft Teams or whatever you wanna do. So I actually use this same workflow to create an item in my task management system each day. I'll just jump over here to show you what it looks like. But every time someone submits some feedback for Content Snare using this little uh, tool we use called Wootrick, once they fill out the little feedback form, it comes into Slack. And further down here, this is getting a little bit advanced because this is using Zapier's path feature. But I'll just show you quickly. It's, it's the same principle. It's a pending entry and scheduling digest, just like you saw then. The difference is I've got like a little emoji in there and I'm saying that this is the person's first name. They gave us a score of, in this case, 10 out of 10. And this is the comment that they wrote into the form. And every week uh, on Tuesday at 7 a.m., this is when it is being dumped into uh, my, oops, into my ClickUp. So this is the task it creates in my project management system. Uh, and it looks like this. So it puts a little preamble there, it's a little emoji, uh, then the digest followed by um, a link at the end. And the reason I do this is so it's really easy to paste into social media. So it might look something like this. You know, I can give this a quick tidy up, but for some reason there's a few extra line breaks there, but I could uh, copy and paste that on the Twitter or something like that. So that's another cool example of how you can use digest. In this case, it's um, you know feedback that I'm going to share with the world about our product. But going back to basics there, this is a really simple workflow that can create daily summaries uh, for anything, uh, pretty much anything in your business, as long as it has a Zappy integration, as long as it's got the trigger you want here, you can then go and create a daily summary from it. Now, if you'd like to hang around, I'm going to dig into one more slightly advanced version of this. And that's if you want to combine multiple sources into one digest. So here, it's only this one field completed in Content Snare. That's the only thing that's going to become part of this digest. Maybe you want to create a digest that includes tweets that match a certain keyword, as well as some of the posts from your favorite blogs. So to do that, we have to create three different workflows. And I've created them already, so I'm going to just jump through them and show you how they are set up. So the first one, we've got a search mention in Twitter as the trigger. And it's saying if someone mentions Content Snare or Zapier, on Twitter, then this trigger will fire and it's going to, same as before, append entry and schedule digest, the same action. Uh, we've given it a different title this time. So it says my test digest and 
um, make sure you keep that because we're going to need to reuse that on the other zap. Uh, and then we've got the entry. So in this case, it's just the text uh, in the tweet. The only difference is for frequency, you're going to use manual. So once you've selected that, that's pretty much it for this zap. Once you turn it on, it's going to say every time there's a search mention on Twitter for the keywords you specified, stick an entry in that digest. So stick an item in the list, basically. Now we create another one. And this is going to be for our blogs. So I've used the uh, RSS by Zapier app here and the trigger event new items in multiple feeds. And that allows you to put the feed URL in for different blogs that you follow, right? So I've got three different ones here. Every time there is a new post on one of these sites, this will trigger. And it's going to add it again to the digest. And this is where you need to make sure you've got that exact same name as before. So it's going to be adding to the same digest. In this case, uh, I've just got the entry as the title of the post, but of course you probably want to put the, the link to the post uh, in here as well, whatever you like. But also you want to make sure this one's set to manual as well. Finally, you need to create a third zap that actually does that releasing of the digest. So this is the third one and it says every week, I'm just using uh, the schedule by Zapier app to say every week on Monday at 6 a.m. We're going to release the existing digest on the way we, so that was slightly different. You still select digest by Zapier as the app. You just choose uh, instead of append entry, you're just going to release the existing digest choose the digest that you created earlier. If it's not showing in this list, you have to run a test first, right? So you'll just jump back to one of these and make sure you actually run the test uh, and then it will show up in this list so you can select it. Uh, and the rest of it's the same as before. So this is where you would send the email or add a Slack message or add your task in a project management system, whatever you want to do. So that's it. Now uh, you've got two different sources pushing into this digest. So uh, the search mentions on Twitter, and the um, blog posts are all feeding into the same digest, just simply as defined by the name, right? That's the thing that tells it that to push to the same digest. And then this third zap is just going to release that digest and then do whatever you want with it. You can take this another step further, like this is a schedule here. So this is saying every you know Monday at 6 a.m. release the digest, but it doesn't have to be a schedule base either. Like you could have a channel on Slack called reporting and maybe if you go into that channel and type the message report, that's what you use as the trigger. And then it releases the digest and feeds that report straight back into Slack. So when you're ready, you just go in there and type report and bam, it gives you all of the, you know, social media posts or whatever that mention your brand since uh, the last time you typed in report. It's kind of cool. Uh, like most things in Zapier, there are just so many different possibilities. I hope that was easy enough to, uh, to follow. And I hope this uh, helps you create some cool daily summary emails that help you save time. Um, I use this so many different ways in, uh, in our business and it's extremely helpful. So yeah, hopefully it helps you as well. If this video has been helpful, please hit that like button below and consider subscribing to learn more ways to automate your business and get more done in less time. I'm Jimmy from jimmyrose.me and Content Snare, and I'll see you in the next video.